looks like the RTX 3090 is going to be big, hot, and power hungry. Let's talk about it. Before that, make sure to subscribe and click the bell icon so you never miss another video. So recently, a picture of an alleged RTX 3090 was posted over on Twitter by the user Garnet Sunset. So let's go ahead and take a look at it and see what this picture can tell us about the GPU. So taking a look at this image here, we can see that the supposed RTX 3090 here shares the exact same design as the leaked image from earlier this year that showed what was supposed to be an RTX 3080. The big difference here being that this one is much, much bigger. In fact, if we take a look at it and we compare it in Photoshop to the RTX 2080 here, we can see that it's around 50% thicker, 30% longer, and roughly 35% wider. So that card is enormous. It's way, way bigger than honestly anything that I've ever seen in a video card, at least when it comes to the base models that are offered from both AMD and Nvidia. And taking a closer look at this card, we can see that most of the thickness comes from the fact that it's a triple slot design a first, I believe, for a Founders Edition card. You may also notice that it has two fans, which is identical to the previously leaked RTX 3080 image, which, by the way, a lot of people said that that wasn't real, and I was extremely confident that it's real. Well, it looks like these are probably real. Like it or hate it, this is what we're probably going to get. And one other thing you may notice here by looking at the front of this card is that this card has a ton of metal, and to my eye, it's way more than what's in the RTX 2080, which, you know, honestly, that was already a pretty heavy card, so if you want to put this card in your system and not have there be any sag or even potential damage to your PCIe slot, you may want to think about putting something under the card to make sure that it's held in the right position, and definitely make sure you put both those screws in, or probably three on this one, because if you don't, it's probably not going to be good. Now, taking a look at the back here, we can see that it looks like there's a huge amount of coverage on the back of the PCB of this card, and it looks like this might actually be some sort of active cooling, and that's probably a good thing because if we take a look at the earlier leaked image of what was supposedly a 3090 PCB, well, that thing had memory and a possible second GPU to handle ray tracing on the back, and that's going to need some cooling. So it's good to see that they've been thinking about that because I've even heard, now I can't remember where I heard this, but supposedly there were some engineering samples from partners that were, the memory was getting really, really hot. So if you don't actively cool this stuff, it's not going to be good. So you're definitely going to want to make sure you get some good cooling on not only the front, but also the back if there's going to be all sorts of important components on there as well. Now, if we take a look back at the full post that Garnet Sunset put over on Twitter, he stated three important things that I want to talk about in the comments. The first being that this GPU is supposedly the RTX 3090, and to me that makes sense. The 3090 is pretty much all but confirmed at this point. There's been tons and tons of rumors about this GPU, and so yes, this does look like the 3090 to me, and if it's not, well, we're in for some trouble because if the 3080 needs this type of cooling, that's probably not good. Now, the second thing he posted that I found really interesting is that he said it is going to cost $1,400, and this lines up with many other rumors I've been hearing, and in fact, I did a video on this just the other day, and that's very interesting because if we take a look at the third thing that he posted, this is what really ties things together, and this is what I want to talk about, and that's the fact that he says the 3090 is this generation's Titan. And I find this interesting because, like I said in my previous video, if the 3090 is going to be this generation's Titan, and they're basically just getting rid of the Titan nomenclature because, let's be honest, those cards were never gaming cards, well, then that's actually probably a pretty good thing, even though it's $1,400 because the Titan last time around was $2,500, so bringing us from $2,500 to $1,400, hey, that's a pretty big improvement. Still extremely expensive for a gaming card, something that I would never purchase myself, but hey, if you're out there and you need 24 gigabytes of VRAM, which this card will supposedly have, and you just have money to burn, well, $1,400 is a whole lot better than $2,500, and that could mean that the prices of other cards are going to be pushed down. Now, before we talk about prices, I want to quickly mention and go over the new 12-pin power adapter that's supposedly coming for these new RTX 3000 series graphics cards. Now, this isn't a new leak. It's been going around the internet for a long time, but there have been new images posted over on the Billaby forums. Never been there before, but apparently that's a place. And the interesting thing about this is that this power adapter from Seasonic that was posted over there states that 
it recommends a minimum of an 850 watt power supply. And so that is really interesting because there have been people who've been posting like Igor that supposedly these new graphics cards are gonna draw from 320 to 350 watts of power. And that's enormous, that's a huge increase. And if we take a look at this connector saying that they recommend an 850 watt power supply, the new 12 pin connector that actually connects, which by the way is really tiny, but it just has the ability to push way more power. I heard somewhere it, it can actually do up to 600 watts. And then we take a look at the images of the massive RTX 3090 that have been going around. Well, I think all of this is starting to point towards the fact that these new graphics cards are gonna draw a ton of power. But for that power, you're probably gonna get a lot of performance. And with performance, with NVIDIA comes price. So let's talk about that price. And now before I go into detail about prices, I just wanna mention the fact that every single year, right before NVIDIA releases their graphics cards, pretty much at the last minute, they determine what the price is gonna be. I mean, they really don't give their graphics design designers too much time to put it into the slides. I mean, it happens that last minute many times. So that being said, according to Tweaktown, the RTX 3090 is gonna cost $1,400. And you know, pretty much all of the rumors and leaks have been pointing towards this. And again, that is an improvement over $2,500, but that's still really expensive. Now, as for the RTX 3080, supposedly that's gonna cost $800. And I know a lot of you are gonna groan and be like, that's way too expensive. And to a certain degree, you're right. $800 for an 80 class GPU is absolutely ridiculous. However, if the RTX 3080 is essentially replacing the 3080 Ti and the performance ends up being higher than we expected, considering the fact that it's not on a 256-bit bus this time around, it's on a 320-bit bus, and it's probably gonna be a very large GPU, I'm sort of okay with it costing around $800. But of course, with only 10 gigabytes of VRAM, that does leave me wondering, is there actually going to be a 3080 Ti variant? Because honestly, 10 gigabytes for what is supposed to be the 2080 Ti replacement is a little disappointing, and it's not gonna be enough for some programs. And even though it does have a bigger bus, and it's technically a much more complex GPU, I don't expect GPU prices to keep raising. Now, I understand that we can't get the exact same performance improvements for the same price every year, but that doesn't excuse the fact that GPU prices have been raising well above inflation. And then supposedly the RTX 3070 is gonna cost $600. That's absolutely ridiculous. And then the RTX 3060 is gonna cost $400. Again, ridiculous. These cards should really be much, much cheaper. The 3060, I don't care how much performance it has, it should really be like 300 bucks. And the 3070 should be like, you know, 400 bucks. In fact, 36 should be like 250 bucks. But hey, I get that there's been inflation and this is probably the best we're going to get until big Navi launches and all of their refreshed, you know, like 6700 XT type of cards. We're probably just going to have to pay a little bit more if you want these cards. So that's up to you. Um, personally, I'm probably going to try and get the RTX 3080 as long as they don't price gouge just too much. But hey, that's just what I think. What do you think about the leaked images and the possible price of these cards? Are you looking forward to the RTX 3000 series or are you gonna wait for Big Navi? I'd love to see what you have to say in the comments below. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, Nvidia and Intel drop prices. Also, if you wanna see more, click here. You won't be disappointed.